we live in uh, so they were doing I was thinking about how if you want to be spiritual if, if you want to be safe in the gospel context I was thinking about masturbation and how you know in one way masturbation is like okay physically obviously it feels good but if you relate it to like food it's like it's like making your own food versus somebody making food with you that's better or somebody or a chef making food that's way better and I was also thinking about how masturbation is giving in to Satan see everything in this world is about Satan versus God and how okay well what if you want to be safe what if you want to overcome the world what if you want to and, and, and that's and really that's the only that's really one of the few contexts that no fat may make sense or or no masturbation makes sense is is you're trying to overcome the flesh and Satan is the guy who's in control of flesh uh, he's in control he, he owns flesh and so you want to overcome the world and, and what, what's cool about not touching yourself is you can start any time so you can actually overcome the flesh at a very young age so if you're a teenager and you make the decision or you know so you're making this decision you know like okay well I'm gonna uh, I'm not gonna masturbate I'm gonna overcome the devil so you can start anytime you can start as late as you want <laughs> Um, but we we obviously masturbation isn't um, as as serious as other sexual sins. Um, and if you think about it, to to me, masturbation is it's more about like just having control in your life. It's not it's it's not always so much about sin. So, you know, you think of what a blessing it is to have God and Jesus on the earth right now and how they're not necessarily destroying Satan right now. They're not kicking out the evil now and they're not getting rid of Satan now, but they're destroying Satan if you team up with them so if you recruit God he'll help you overcome the devil by the way if you make a decision to get rid of that parasite to get rid of that demon to get rid of the devils that are inside of you does God have to reveal more of Satan to you I don't know I you know because it's like maybe maybe when you're young or whenever you don't don't really care about Satan or the devil or whatever but maybe maybe you reach a certain point where you're like hey I don't like doing wrong you know I don't like sinning and so and this comes to safety and sacred I think safe being safe spiritually for eternity for now and for eternity and 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 having sacred things in our lives are connected so you, you think about the term safe sex that that was a that was a big thing in the 90s uh, when I when I was growing up um, 
I wasn't really growing up. I was growing horizontally, but <sighs> safe sex was um, in the in the worldly secular vernacular. What they meant was, you know, don't get a disease, or or they mean don't get pregnant, which is kind of which, if you think about it, really is a trick of Lucifer because it's like, oh, be safe don't have a baby. In other words, it's the financial safety they're talking about. But in the gospel context, safe sex is non-carnal sex. It's, it's relational sex. It's sacred sex. So it's not just safe because it's going to save your, save your relationship or, or whatever. But not committing adultery, if, if you decide to not commit adultery, to not fornicate, you're being safe, but you're also leaning towards sacredness. And I think that's really cool. I, I, think, I think that's really cool how the, the two are connected, safety and goodness and safety and sacredness. So sacred, if your life... The, think about it. The more holy you get, the more you are freed from Satan's temptations and his winds and his shafts in the whirlwind. I guess a shaft in the whirlwind is like a stick in the whirlwind, like a like a stick in the whirlwind. You know, <laughs> you know we're we're here, and there's spiritual storms and horrible things are happening on the earth so so horrible things are happening but if you're if you're not if you're not going to admit that satan is real and, and try to defeat him then boom you get smacked by a spinning stick that that just hits you i mean and where's it going to hit you it hits you in your legs that's going to hurt it hits you in the face pokes you in the neck you know and it's like if you are holy, which in this context means safe. If you are holy, then you are safe from the sticks and the stones and the floods and the whirlwinds. Stay safe, my friends.